So a quick lesson on how to walk the labyrinth. First of all, it is not a maze. There is only one path that takes you all the way into the center and the same path brings you all the way back out. So in our labyrinth, it starts right here. And if you stay between the bricks and never cross over them, you will make it all the way to the center and all the way out. When you get to this point here, people often think it's an exit, but it's not. The bricks are here to remind you not to cross. So when you come here, you just turn and go around the very outside edge and it takes you into the center. You can walk it as a path of peace, prayer, and contemplation. You can walk it as a walking meditation or symbolic of a meta or metaphoric of a pilgrimage where the center represents the sacred destination. But my experience is, is that the most important thing to know, no matter how you walk the labyrinth, is that you are walking it to learn about you, not it. If you think you're learning to, about it, you might think, oh, this is, takes too long. If you know that you're learning about yourself, you realize that you are a little bit impatient. And that gives you the opportunity to determine whether impatience is what you came here to experience. If it's not, then it gives you an opportunity to work on acceptance. A labyrinth takes about 15 minutes to walk in and out directly. And if you stay in the center, it'll take a little bit longer. Or if there's other people walking it with you, it might take a little bit longer, but it is not that long. So you get an opportunity to practice acceptance of that. And then you let go of your annoyance in your resistance and your impatience. <clears throat> so the first thing to know is you're walking it to learn about you, not it. And the second thing I find extremely helpful to know is that everything you experience on the labyrinth is symbolic or metaphoric of what you're being invited to look at in yourself or in your own life. So if you come across a brick out of place, you might ask, what's the brick out of place in my life? Or more interestingly, what do you do about the brick out of place? Do you ignore it? Do you get mad about it? Do you obsess on it? Do you complain about it? Do you fix it? How do you respond to things like that? So everything on the labyrinth is symbolic or metaphoric. You come to these 180 degree turns like this. Life is like that. Sometimes you're cruising along and you think you've got life figured out and then all of a sudden you fall in love and life tanks you in a completely different direction. Or you get divorced or you have children or somebody dies or you find out you have cancer, you move to a new place, you get a new job, you have a new aha. Life is constantly full of these 180 degree turns and the labyrinth lets us practice embracing those instead of resisting those. So everything in the labyrinth is symbolic or metaphoric. If you find yourself um, judgmental on the labyrinth, you might discover you're judgmental off the labyrinth. Is that serving you? Is it what you came here to practice? If you are full of self-doubt and wondering if you're doing it right on the labyrinth or if you've done it wrong, you probably have self-doubt off the labyrinth as well. So this gives you an opportunity to notice that, become self-observant, and then make choices about how you're showing up. So as you walk the labyrinth, be self-observant. Notice what you notice. And then make a choice on whether that's how you choose to be or if you're just on some sort of automatic pilot and then make a new choice. And then we always have the opportunity when it's not going the way we want it to, we always have the opportunity to begin again. So enjoy your labyrinth journey. Much aloha.